we're here with Jennifer Miller at Bioethics International, and we are talking about pharma's reputation. Tell us a little bit about your nonprofit, Jennifer. Sure, so Bioethics International is a 501c3 public charity. I started it in 2005, um, and right now we're really focused on the ethics of the pharmaceutical, the biotech, and medical device industries. Um, we map ethics concerns, then we set standards capable of addressing the concerns, and then we evaluate every new product approved by the FDA along with their uh, NDA sponsors of the pharma biotech and medical device company on their ethical performance and we release these rankings every year. So you have a kind of front seat to the global reputation of pharma and both the positives and the negatives. Tell us a little bit about the landscape right now. So right now unfortunately uh, the pharmaceutical industry has a major reputation problem. Only 10% of the U.S. population trust that pharmaceutical companies are honest and ethical, 90% thinks that the industry puts profits before people. Interestingly, this wasn't always the case. Uh, the industry used to enjoy a high level of confidence and esteem, and up until 17 years ago, you could still find pharmaceutical companies ranking amongst the most admired companies in the world. So how do we get back to those stats, those more positive stats? Uh, I think you need to employ a suite of strategies, uh, but one of which is, I think, uh, the implementation of an accreditation, a certification, a rating, or ranking program like the Good Pharma Scorecard. Um, so what the Good Pharma Scorecard does is it sets clear standards for trustworthiness. Um, and then it, as I mentioned, benchmarks and measures every single product approved by the FDA along with the pharmaceutical company against those standards so that every stakeholder can see how products and companies are performing relative to things that are really important to patient and public health. Um, so then what they'll see is they'll see some companies are scoring really well and others have room for improvement, but they'll be able to track the improvements um, year by year, year after year. Great, thank you so much for joining us today, Jennifer. Thanks for having me.